Hello, my name is Nazar Fahmi bin Abdurrahim. So for assignment task one, um, business proposal and product cost profit analysis. For our group, uh, name is Sejuk Selalu Service. Uh, so we are from group five for section ten with Dr. Nasr bin Saudi. So for the introduction, as a potential professional mechanical engineer. Business strategy and finances uh, should be studied and applied before entering the workplace in the future. So, uh, for our group, uh, Sajid Salu Services uh, is a company uh, that provide high quality air conditioner unit, which are indoor and outdoor units, come together with the installation and maintenance services. So, for the objective uh, is to develop a high quality and affordable air conditioner. Uh, and then help to comfort the customer at all times such as at home and the workplace so for our vision uh, to consistently generate ideas that will improve the quality of, of our services and give benefit to people in this country and uh, so uh, the last vision is to give excellent service to the customer and be the best air conditioning service uh, in this country Hi and Assalamualaikum, my name is Muhammad Nawi Fikri bin Rohani and today I will talk about description and description of for the service. Sejuk Selalu Service, one of the company that can provide high quality air conditioning units that include outdoor and indoor units. The purpose of the company is to gain comfort inside the house while you are house call or having a guest bed installed and air conditioner at the house, especially in the living room. The provider service starts from wiring for the electric car units until the after sale, like maintenance and cleaning. There are two teams for manpower in our company. The first team handle the electrical, the in charge for the wiring work such as adding plug points, switch and plug wiring. For the second team, it's a conditioner team that job score is installing the indoor and outdoor unit, maintenance and repair and problem of the air conditioner unit. The just like the services, we make sure to offer a good wide range of service at affordable prices. In terms of a budget, there are various of packaging, that provided to make sure customer having a lot of choice such as type of conditioner and services. Customer has a choice to contact us by using many social such as Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. Next, material requirement for each services. There are two materials such as general cleaning and overhead cleaning. General cleaning, there are face plate cleaning, evaporator surface cleaning, vessel fill. Base cleaning, filter net cleaning, middle frame cleaning, outlet pipe cleaning, lower cleaning. There is three type of house power: one anti 1.5 HP, two anti 2.5 HP, three and above. For the first type, their prices is 120 per unit, and the second type 140 per unit, and then lastly 180 ringgit per unit. For our house cleaning, there are water drainage system cleaning, chemical cleaning, indoor and outdoor inspection, and hot check for the thermostat. And then for the services price, there are 180 ringgit per unit, 250 ringgit per unit, and 280 ringgit per unit. And then for the manufacturing cost involved, there are uh, installation services price for 1 HP account, 280 ringgit per unit, 1.5 account, 300 ringgit per unit, 2 HP account, 350 per unit, 2.5 HP account, 380 ringgit per unit, and 3 HP and above, 4 ringgit, and 4 Assalamualaikum, my name is Muhammad Nazirul Amin bin Zulkifli. I will be explaining the part of chapter 2 for business proposal. The metric number is DD190052. This will be the identification and procurement of the machinery. The first one will be a coded impact drill. Next will be the multimeter. The third one will be reciprocating saw. The fourth one will be a measuring tape. Next will be the caulking gun set, which include its silicone. Another will be the step ladder and also hammer. In addition to that, there will be a extension cord. Next will be a screwdriver, a electrical powered screwdriver. Next will be hex head nut drivers. Next will be the scratch all to create a scratch line on sheet metal. Next will be a leveler and also mechanical plier, pipe wrench and also snipper. 
Next will be a hand seamer and crimpers. After that, we have a heavy duty staple gun, tubing cutter, uh, manifold gauge, vacuum pump, refrigerant scale, core removal tool, fincom, and refrigerant recovery machine. Next will be the machine ownership cars, operation and maintenance. Firstly, the ownership cars. The coded impact reel will be cast at around 219 ringgit. The multimeter will be at 38 ringgit and 50 cent. The cordless saw will be 119 ringgit. The measuring tape will be at 13 ringgit and 88 cent. The double sided ladder will be at 386 ringgit 48 cent. The hammer will be at 14 ringgit and 50 cent. The cable extension reel will be at 155 ringgit and 55 cent. While the cordless screwdriver will be 139 ringgit, the 5-in-1 screwdriver multi-bit will be at 55 ringgit, and the cocking gun set will be at 18.90 cent. The magnetic water level will be at 18 ringgit, while the combination plier will be at 39 ringgit 90 cent. The pipe wrench lock will be at 32 ringgit, and the snip will be at 10 ringgit 28 cent. The hand seamer will be at 53 ringgit and 96 cent, while the crimper will be at 29.99. The demolition scratch all will be at 12 ringgit and 80 cent, while the heavy duty staple gun will be at 13 ringgit and 65 cent per unit. The tube cutter will be at 32 ringgit, and the manifold gauge icon meter will be at 86 ringgit 80 cent, while the single stage vacuum pump will be at 185 ringgit. And the refrigeration, refrigerant fitting, filling scale will be at a 343 ringgit 25 cent, while the valve core removal will be at 6 ringgit, air conditioning fincom at 12 ringgit 50 cent, and finally the refrigeration, refrigerant recovery machine at 3,855 ringgit and 52 cent, which this will be total at 5,891 ringgit and 11 cent. Next will be the machine maintenance cost. The machine maintenance cost will be consisting of the professional code impact grill, the reciprocating cordless saw, single stage vacuum pump, refrigerant filling scale, refrigerant recovery machine. The cost for the impact grill will be 35 ringgit per year, while the cordless saw, the cordless saw will be 35 ringgit per year as well. The single stage vacuum pump will be roughly around 50 ringgit and the refrigerant filling scale will be at 15 ringgit per year. Finally, the refrigerant recovery machine will be operating, the cost will be at 30 ringgit per year. In total, it will be 165 ringgit per year to maintain each of this machine. Finally, will be the operation and variable cost. The, the variable cost will be the cage nut with 50 units costing at 51 ringgit and 56 cent the washer push on on 50 units will be 6 ringgit and 53 cent the self clinching nuts will be 100 units at costing at 75 ringgit 63 cents the quarter hex head screw, zip screw will be at 100 units will cost at 5 ringgit and 35 cent and hex head bolt which also at 100 unit will be at 5 ringgit the silicone sealant will be at 300 gram per unit, which will cost 20 ringgit. The air conditioning cleaner will be 5 liter per unit, which will cost 14 ringgit 95 cent. Finally, the refrigerant gas, gas refill will be at 13.6 kilogram per unit, will cost 207 ringgit in total. The, three, the operation cost, the variable cost, sorry, will be 386 ringgit and 2 cent. Finally, will be the operation cost. The operation consisting of transportation and also the salary of the staff. The transportation will be uh, vehicle fuel, which cost at 50 ringgit per unit, and also the salary for five unit or five person will be costing around 2,057 ringgit. And in total, for one for one transportation per month and salary. For five person will be around ten thousand three hundred and thirty five ringgit. That is all for me. Thank you and have a nice day.
Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Muhammad Iqmal bin Ismail Magic number AD190181 So I would like to continue for this presentation for chapter 3 Product Cost and Profit Analysis So the estimation cost per year The items is fixed cost FC and variable cost BC For fixed cost, it contains of machine ownership cost and maintenance cost For the machine ownership cost, is the amount is 5800 and 91 ringgit and 11 cents for the maintenance cost is 165 ringgit so the total amount is 6056 ringgit 11 cents so for variable cost it consists of raw material and operational cost so the amount for raw material is 386 ringgit 2 cents for the operational cost 10,335 ringgit so the total is 10,700 and 21 ringgit and 2 cents for variable cost so assuming that we can provide 100 service in a year so this is the formula to calculate total cost per year fixed cost plus variable cost times by quantity so the total cost per year is 1078158.11 cents so next is the determination of sale price break even and profit margin so the sale price is the service will charge accordingly to the corresponding type of cleaning as stated in the previous part of the estimation price. Hence, the general cleaning is divided into three, which are which different horsepower have different price. For 1.0 to 1.5 horsepower, the price is 120 ringgit per unit. While for 2.0 to 2.5 horsepower, the price is 140 per unit while 3.0 horsepower and above the cost will be 180 ringgit per unit so for overhaul clean overhaul cleaning it's also divided into three which is 1.0 to 1.5 horsepower which the price is 180 ringgit per unit so 2.0 to 2.5 horsepower the price is 250 ringgit per unit while 3.0 horsepower and above, the price is 280 ringgit per unit. So for installation, so installation, the, it was divided into five, which 0, 1.0 horsepower, which cost 280 per unit, 1.5 horsepower, 300 ringgit per unit, 2.0 horsepower, 350 per unit, 2.5 horsepower, 380 per unit, and 3. 0 horsepower and above will cost 430 ringgit per unit so these are the break even point the break even is to package is calculated as below total price for all the packages 120 plus 140 180 100, 250 280 280 300 250 280 and 430 so the total will be 2890 so the total revenue, this is the formula for total revenue is the price times by the quantity. So the total price is 2,890 so times by the quantity which is uh, 100 uh, that will be calculated. So from here we take the total revenue equals to total cost. So 290Q is equals to the total cost stated just now so the, the value of q is 373.065 that will be round off to 374 so this is the profit margin tr equals to p times q so this is 2890 times by 100 quantity so there will be two, two, two eight, 289,000 ringgit in a year Therefore, the total is 1078158.11. So, profit is equals to TR minus by TC. So, the profit will be 7,789,158 ringgit 11 cents. So, the amount of time needed for us to gain profit will be this is the formula N equals to TC over profit. So, it will take about 1.36 years, which is equal to 17 months. So we will gain our profit in 17 months at most. That's all for me. Thank you. So for the assignment task 2,
financial planning. Our group is uh, Sejuk Soil Services uh, from Group 5 of Section 10 with Dr. Nasar bin Saudi. Uh, here is my list of group members. Assalamualaikum, my name is Muhammad Nazirul Amin bin Sukifli and I will be explaining the introduction regarding financial planning. My matrix number is DD190052. Introduction. Financial planning is the process of estimating the capital required to carry out business activity. It is also the first phase of financial management of an organization. Financial planning determines how the organization would achieve its goal. The financial planning also develops after the organization goals and vision for its operation to predict future organization financial results and to determine the company's best use of financial resource. Cash flow management for financial management, providing appropriate funds, providing an appropriate balance between the incoming and outgoing funds, proportion, preparation of growing and development programs that ensure the long-term sustainability of the organization. Decrease of uncertainty regarding market change that the organization may face. Decrease the uncertainty which would affect the organization's growth. Next will be the sixth step of financial planning. First step is determining the current financial situation, which is in terms determining the situation in terms of income, costs, liabilities, loan, and receivables. The second step is developing financial goals. An analysis should be performed and the needs for achieving what is wanted should be determined and is followed by specifying goals and determining how the current income will be spent to provide funds for investment for securing the future financial security. The third step is identifying alternative course of action, which is determining the factor which will affect the continuity of action, expansion of the current situation, new course of action, the creativity in decision making, and considering the possibility alternative solution which can lead to effective decision. The fourth evaluating alternative is considering the situation, the condition under which the business activity will be carried out, the organization values and the current economic condition in the environment. It needed to be evaluated where will be will the asset be invested, what kind of cost will be made for production, also to evaluate the risk and which information will be used to make relevant decision. The fifth uh, steps is to creating and implementing a fi financial action plan. To create a plan to decide on how to achieve financial goals, all employees must follow the financial plan according to provide asset, invest, maintain inventory, and provide shares, bonds, or mutual funds. And lastly, it is re-evaluating and revising the plan, the dynamic implementation of the plan, assessing financial decision, and adapting to new change in personal, social, and economic factor. The review of the financial plan's implementation allows for priority adjustment that will allow the organization to meet its financial objective. That is all from me. Thank you, and have a good day. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Iqmal bin Ismail. Matrix number AD190181. Now I would like to continue the presentation for determination of monthly installment for the application of AP. So the initial cost is 1078158.11 cents. So the service life expectancy is 5 years and the minimum rate return is 15% per year. So this is the figure. The so next is by using formula, we'll be calculating the value of A. So A equals to P, I bracket 1 plus I power of N, and 1 plus I power of N minus by 1. So uh, the value of A is 321,291.12 cents. Next is by using the factor table. So the value of uh, P, A, P, I, N will be um, searched at the table. So by calculating the value of A by using the table, we get almost the same amount by using formula which is 321,614.56. So there, there are slightly difference by using formula and also using factor table. That's all for me. Thank you. 
Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Mark Faris bin Razmi. Metric number AD 10080. So next we are going to look at the evaluation of profitability and non-profitability. Next. So in this part we are going to have three subtopics which is uh, the first one is the introduction. Second one is the calculation of annual cost. And the third one is the calculation of the present worth, PW. So as we know, every single business uh, uh, aims for a profit. So here we are going to assess whether our company will make profit or not. So in our syllabus, there are five ways to assess uh, whether the company will, be, will make profit or not. Which is the, form, the first one is the present worth method. And the second one is the future worth method. The third one is the annual worth method. Uh, and the fourth one is the internal rate of return method. And the last one is the external rate of return method. So we are going uh, for our case. We are going to use the first method, which is the present worth method, as instructed in the instruction. So next, we are going to look at the uh, present worth criterion. This criterion will be our reference whether uh, our business uh, can be profitable or not. So after all the calculation, we'll be we'll be looking back at this uh, at this uh, criterion to assess whether uh, it is non profitable break even or profitable right we're going to straight away calculate uh, the value of annual sales and annual cost so this is the formula to calculate the a1 and a2 and this is the parameter uh, we need to calculate uh, a1 and a2 the fixed cost variable cost and monthly inst installment all these value are uh, taken from the business uh, from our business proposal so uh, here we are substituting all the parameters we have uh, the expected total revenue per month uh, time by 12 months and then we get 762,960 for the annual sales A1 and then uh, for the annual cost we get 338,401 done with uh, calculating the annual sales and annual cost we can straight away calculate the value of present worth which P, PW uh, and this is the formula to calculate it. Uh, P, P0 is the uh, initial cost, A1 and A2 is the value we have calculated earlier. PA and PF is the compound, compound interest factor. I is the return rate. N is the number of years. So this is the parameter we, going, we are going to need uh, to calculate uh, the, uh, the, the value of PW, uh, the initial cost. Uh, taken from the business proposal, annual sales, annual cost, A1 and A2, we have calculated earlier. The schedule value F, and the return rate is assumed uh, to be 15% per year, and the company life expectancy N is assumed to be 10 years. Okay. Uh, now that we have all the parameters we need, we will be substituting all the parameters, and uh, the value of the compound, fa compound factor can be uh, found in the compound interest factors table uh, we can we have to look at the 15% table because the return rate is 15% per year and then uh, we, we can look at the value of n which is 10 years and then we get uh, the compound interest factor we, we want so the pa is the value of pa is 5.019 and the pf is uh, 0 0.2472 So substituting the the value of the uh, compound factor, then we get uh, the value of PW, which is uh, seven million one hundred and forty one thousand nine hundred and seventy two. So uh, uh, then we this value will be will be compared with the criterion uh, with criterion PW criterion, and it happened to be that this value is uh, more than zero. So as uh, for the conclusion. Uh, we can say that our business is profitable by uh, looking at this criterion. So that is how we assess our business whether it is uh, profitable or not. So I think uh, that is all from my part. Thank you. As for the conclusion, we can say that all the preparation that went into our business strategy was successful. This is because after factoring in all the costs and financial planning for the product that we choose indicate that it will result in a profit, we need to do a comprehensive analysis of the financial planning to determine whether the company will be a commercial and financial success. 
To ensure that the product selling price yield and profit, we perform an estimate of the total cost per unit as well as a break even analysis and a profit margin calculation. The total startup costs for our company are estimated to be 89,846.51 for the first month. We are expected to pay back loan of the past year at an annual interest rate of 15%, which is come to around 321,291 ringgit and 20 cent. The entire amount of VW is higher than zero as demonstrated by the computation in the previous paragraph, which come to 7 million 141,970 ringgit and 20 cent. That's all from me. Thank you.